On this problem, we're asked to find the perimeter of this shape. Uh, to find the perimeter, you add the lengths of each side. Um, these are binomials. That's a binomial, binomial, a binomial. Uh, this is a monomial. Um, to add these, to combine these different um, terms, there's many ways to approach it, but I think the best approach is going to be to grab uh, these two binomials that are positive and positive, positive and positive. It'll be easiest to um, combine them. Remember, like terms have the same variable and exponent. The exponent is 1. It's not required to be written when it's a 1. So first we'll combine these two lengths. We have 4x plus 3 and x plus 3. When we combine those, we have 5x plus 6. Remember, there's always a 1 in front of the variable, or we say there's a coefficient of 1. Um, so that's dealing with those two sides. Now we'll combine two more sides. Um, here we have a negative sign and a negative sign, so it'll be easiest to combine these two. All right, so that's a uh, 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 2. When we combine those, we get, and that's a, a negative 3. The signs are the same. You add and keep the sign. Um, 2x and 2x yields 4x. I'm having a little trouble with my paper here. Um, and now we'll deal with um, the terms that involve uh, fractions, okay? This minus, uh, how's the best way to say this? Uh, we definitely need common denominators in order to add those two fractions. So I'm just going to focus on the coefficient, the number in front of the variable. Um, if I want to combine one-fifth with one-tenth, again, I need common denominators. So Suppose a good candidate for common denominator would be our least common denominator of 10. So this will have a denominator of 10, but in order to get that to a 10, we're going to have to multiply by 2, and obviously you always have to do the exact same thing to the numerator and denominator of any fraction. Um, this way, right here, 2 tenths, I have not changed the value of 1 fifth. I'm just changing the way it looks, but it's the same amount of stuff. Um, this was already a denominator of 10, so we're simply keeping that numerator. When we add these two, we simply get 3 tenths. And remember here we had this negative 1, so it's 3 tenths. I forgot to bring down my x. I'm sorry about that. Um, you simply keep the variable. That's why it has to be the same variable in order to combine them, because you keep them. Okay, so I have 3 tenths x minus 1. All right, now I have three different binomials that I still need to combine. So let's take uh, the two without fractions and get these together. If I have 5x plus 6, 4x and a negative 3. When I combine these, a positive 6, a negative 3, that yields a positive 3. 5x and 4x, that yields 9x. And we still have to combine this, 9x plus 3, with 3 tenths x minus 1. I think I'll just stack them up and see if you can see how this works. All 
9x plus 3 and 3 tenths x minus 1. This might look rather strange, but there's kind of a nice trick we can use here. As far as the positive 3 and the negative 1, that yields a positive 2. When you are adding, remember, I, I can ignore these x's. They're just going to come along for the ride. You have to have the exact same variable and exponent in order to add or subtract, and you keep the, the variable and exponent. So I'm really just looking at 9 plus 3 tenths. And the nice thing about addition is if you're adding an integer and a fraction, you can simply add them really with no calculations. 9 plus 3 tenths is 9 and 3 tenths. It might seem strange. If I was subtracting, I would have to use a different method. But because I'm adding, I can just combine the 9 and the 3 tenths. So this is your final answer for the perimeter of this shape, and I'll put it back up here.